Hey guys, welcome to Third Planet from the Black Hole. I'm your host, Danny Benson, and I am joined by... Co-host, Brandon Moncada. And with the new Mortal Kombat movie coming out, we thought it would be fun to take a trip down memory lane and look at some of the biggest hits in the Mortal Kombat video game series while drinking. With that said... <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, Show me what you're drinking. <laughs> because, you know, I'm super hardcore and yes. I'm drinking a White Claw Peach uh, iced tea. It's very, uh, it's very old man of you. Um, they taste good. I'm, I'm drinking... I'm like... What did you give me? <laughs> you said you wanted it. I didn't say I wanted it. You just offered it to me and I'm just like, I'm not going to be rude. PB and Jams, it's a peanut butter and jelly flavored beer um, from Becker. Our friend Becker. Thanks, Becker. Yeah, you got that. All right. Well, you hand that over to us. All right, let me get my... And I have a peached iced tea white ball. All right. So we're going to start this video out by talking about the original three Mortal Kombat games that were in the arcade. Um, I think we're both old enough to remember those. And we're also going to talk about MK versus DC. And then after that, we're going to do a little bit of gameplay of Mortal Kombat Gold on the Dreamcast and Mortal Kombat 11. Are we going to skip over, like, Deadly Alliance? All of Deception? That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Armageddon. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah, the first three games blur together for me. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. This is really throwing me off. All right, it's not a it's not a PB and Jams uh, it commercial. It's not like <laughs> I know I know. It's brought to you by PB and Jams. I feel like it's kind of like Angry Orchards, but. With peanut butter and jelly? Yeah, but Angry Orchards are good. And I don't know if this is good or not. So, alright. So the first three games, yes, they blur together for me too. Um, I, uh, I downloaded those games a little while back uh, to try them out. Because they have the remasters on Xbox 360. And they are impossible to play against the AI. Yeah, you know what's funny is... Um, I played them on Sega. I was a big Sega person growing up. And uh, I think... Mainly because a lot of my cousins, they were the ones that played Mortal Kombat. They were older than me, so I played with them. Same for me. I had an older um, cousin that lived down the street, and that's, he played a lot of Mortal Kombat and those mm -hmm. kind of games. And they and actually knew a lot of combos, and they yeah. were pretty good. It yeah. wasn't like super like cheese, or like the, P the computer, I guess you could say. Yeah. Where it would completely dominate you in all forms of like the, the, the computer cheats like, oh yeah it's, it's, 100%. Uh, there's no way of getting around the computer um but no like the first couple of games they're pretty cool yeah. they definitely don't play well i was gonna say uh, no. my experience with them was playing them on sega initially when they were first released and when i had a gamecube excuse me i had the midway classics collection mm. I still do, actually. It's with my GameCube collection right now. Okay. Uh, and there's three volumes, and I think the first two came with Mortal Kombat 1 through 3. Hmm. And uh, I would play pretty much my early teens were with that mainly. Uh, by the time I was like, I want to say 12 to about 15, my cousin bought, like I said, those other games that we can't really talk about because we're can't really play them. Deception, Deadly Alliance. Yeah, Armageddon. I mean, you could talk about. I've never played them. You can go ahead and um, talk about them a little bit if you want. Well, yeah, there's three of them, and they were basically a step into the like three dimensional gaming at the time. Yeah. If you ever played Tekken, you know Tekken was known for being like a 3D fighter, and Mortal Kombat tried doing that, and it just didn't really work out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that Mortal Kombat's had a very good game until hmm. like at least MK versus DC. No, that even that game was not great in my opinion. I didn't think Mortal Kombat got good until 9. Yeah, my thing with Mortal Kombat, I never played it until I was, like, in college, I think. Until I, after I graduated high school, because, like, it was just... Those games, just they they look cool. I like the lore, I like the character designs, but I just never got around... Like, nobody I knew who were playing games by the time I started playing video games had them. Like, I would watch my cousins play them when, when I was a little kid, but, you know, I had anti-video game parents, because they were just, like... You know, if you play video games, you're going to go out and commit mass murder, which uh, you know, it hasn't happened, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I never really got to play those until I was 
till I was older and I kind of like bought them on my own and everything. So I didn't grow up with them. Mm. So See, I'm, oh sorry, I was gonna say my it was funny. Like my parents when it came to video games, they didn't care. <laughs> it was just like uh, they would be like, "Oh, you have to be 17 to buy this." I'd be like, "All right, let me go get my." mom or dad yeah they'd be like oh, it's violent oh, I don't care yeah <laughs> they'd be like, they would have to go down the quiet. list yeah they have to go down the list of like why the game was like you know inappropriate for children but um yeah like uh, DC versus Mortal Kombat I think that's like the lowest point of the series in a way really I actually enjoyed that game when I played it um it doesn't play well in my opinion the graphics are really clunky and like kind of weird I thought they were okay I don't know. I couldn't get into it, but uh, because I'm one of those guys. I don't care about graphics in games. I really don't. Like as long as the gameplay is good, I'm not gonna make a big deal about it either. But the character design is really weird. For the DC, some of the DC characters, like they're really, like Sonya. They okay. They've Sonya's never had a good design until the new games. I'm sorry. Like they've always screwed up Sonya's design. Um, Catwoman had just this. I hated Catwoman's design in the game. But all the other character models I thought were pretty good in that game, especially yeah. on the DC side and everything. The roster was a little bit limited, and yeah, the I, game was rated teen. It had to be. They had because to because at yeah. the time, this is before DC was getting all edgy. Yeah, and uh, they before Zack Snyder, they lit. <laughs> had to sneak that in there oh, yeah. before they kind of did the the overhaul with DC. I think I literally read a quote one time at the, at the time of release where they were like, they don't want to see Superman decapitated. Yeah, yeah. That was like a big thing. You know, Which, these are... I, I get that. Yeah, that would be a little jarring to see Batman ripped in half or, you yeah. know, characters like, like Superman being decapitated. I don't really want to see that either. I think th what they went for, I think, was good enough. You know. Well, they ended up going edgy anyways. I mean, if you look at the Injustice comic, it shows Superman ripping Joker's Okay, heart, heart that heart was... Out. Yeah, you're right about that. And you definitely see the bones of the Injustice games in this one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I like Mortal Kombat versus DC. I thought it was okay. I gotta maybe, it was because, maybe it was because I went from playing the first three to that game that I was like, oh, this is amazing. Oh, uh, see, for one. me, I... I feel like I just played every single one at some point and just kind of saw it happen. I think four was the only one I never really got into. Yeah. But one through three, I definitely played. And, and we're about to play four today. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, those three, it didn't, there wasn't really a Mortal Kombat game. I, like, during the N64 PS1 era, I played that Sub-Zero adventure game for a brief second. And there's also that adventure game where you play as Liu Kang and Kung Lao. Yeah. Um... Oh, then, are you talking about like Sub Zero? The, the yeah, that was like the, the N sixty four era of Mortal Kombat. Back when platformers were the thing, that was, trying to make it. That, a, that was a bad game. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I've always had a love hate relationship with the series. Uh, to me, it's definitely gotten better. It's at its peak, if anything. The, the continuity is cool. The way it was like, uh, you know, for the original series, the way it was like a character that appeared in the background of the of a stage in the original game ended up being. The ultimate bad guy at the end. That was gonna, yeah, I thought that was cool, and like, you know, uh, you could tell that the developers were having fun with the this series the whole time, and that and a lot of them gameplay took a backseat. Oh yeah, the gameplay definitely did. yeah, yeah. took a backseat. The but, other thing I always point out with Mortal Kombat that I personally think nobody really talks about, and maybe this is me overanalyzing or overthinking. And, you know, the 90s, we were saying this when we were doing the commentary, the, the 90s, 90s were very awkward and... They were a low point for cinema. A low for, point for, for cinema. For culture. For, yeah. For cinema. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that does not age well from the 90s. Yeah. And, like, you know... And we talk about this in the... Uh, 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 Mortal Kombat this. Annihilation. We talk about this in Mortal Kombat Annihilation, but also to get that plug in there for Sutro and Apollo. Yeah. Uh, we did that. What if superheroes were created in like the yeah, different yeah, decades? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good episode. And we, thank you. And we talked about how in the 90s, um, basically, it'd probably be the most edgy and most like terrible version of those characters that they were made. Yeah, the 90s were just... Uh, yeah. So, with that in mind, you know, again, maybe it wasn't done well, and maybe there were certain things that were still, like, inappropriate for Mortal Kombat besides the violence, but it was kind of a weirdly inclusive game series. Yeah, if you think about it, Mortal Kombat couldn't have come out of anything else but the 90s. Well, yeah, it's, it's yeah. definitely edgy and inappropriate, yeah. but, like... But in a good way, though. 
there was this, like I said, there's this inclusiveness no one really talks about because you have a diverse roster of characters that, yeah, you know, like at the time, I don't think there was a fighting game that had a Native American character really. Besides, there was only one other game from that era I can think of, and that's the Turok games that had a Native American or character. Killer Instinct. Yeah, that too. Yeah, but realistically, yeah. like, you had you know people of Jade, uh, who was a uh, Drax. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. People just of different backgrounds, yeah. different genders, and and then now they're even like you know you got the the Aztec characters and everything. Yeah. Characters. So, in a crazy way of all games to be kind of inclusive, it was Mortal Poli Kombat. Mortal Kombat is yeah. Like you know, the game where you're ripping testicles off and it, heads off. And it was like is. everybody was getting fatalities. Exactly. It wasn't just like a. a Everybody's like, equally dying in this series. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy when you think about it. That, that way. is, it is kind of crazy. Yeah, it's a. Yeah. Uh, I think it'd be worth analyzing in itself, realistically. Yeah. Like you know, Mortal just, Kombat's a, a weird series, but it is fun to get into, and I could tell that. Yeah. I think it's fun. What keeps it going is you can tell the developers have fun with it, and they've grown as well. Yeah. Because also, if you were to compare it, because you know there are other games that were kind of inclusive as well like street fighter for instance yeah and not to say other games weren't but not that many were at the time and you know like when you compare it to street fighter street fighter was a game where it had multiple characters diverse backgrounds right but also the fighting mechanics were like to this day are still like holding up yeah whereas mortal kombat not really yeah so. definitely i uh yeah mortal kombat or uh, street fighter is a whole other game but yeah yeah, Mortal Kombat is it's definitely an anomaly. And it's cool that Ed Boon's like still heavily involved in this series. Oh dude, he was one of Did you know I think I could be wrong and anyone can correct me on this. But the first Mortal Kombat had only six people working on it. Wow. Ed Boon was there since the very beginning, and that dude is still involved. And he's still going strong with the, the studio. Fun thing, he put out a tweet the other day asking, he was just like, Is there enough Godzilla monsters to make a Godzilla fighting game or a kaiju fighting game? I'm just like Please, because hey. WB has the rights for Godzilla already. So, and you know they've proven to take properties very well. I mean, Injustice uh, is probably one of my favorite fighting games right now. I need to play Injustice still. Yeah. I, I I'll probably play the first one just for the story, and then just hop on the story. Story's really one. good too. That's yeah. the fun part. And the comic times. And I'm not a huge fan of Dictator Superman, but if you do it right, you know I'm down for an Elseworlds uh, story. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, are you ready to move on to Mortal Kombat Gold? Let's on the it. Dreamcast, oh boy. playing with Xbox 360 <laughs> controllers, or Xbox One controllers. Alright, let's do this. Alright, guys. I feel like I'm freaking elementary school again playing this. Oh god, these games are so hard to play. Alright, so how do you do <laughs> two-player on this? Endurance? I don't know. Alright, there's tournament. Options. Try your controller just to see it. Okay, so we got both of them. Oh, hold on. I know how you do it. Oh. You just wanna, and then you just press start to join. Oh, There boy. we go. Oh, oh here God, we go. This character select screen is so painful. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Um, All right, whatever. Fuck it. I'm going... Sub-Zero. Uh, I'm gonna go Scorpion. I'm gonna button mash the shit out of this. Can you see around the camera and everything? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, this is gonna be good. God, so this is 4, right? Yeah, this is Mortal Kombat 4, but this is also Mortal Kombat Gold. Oh, I forgot. You can't move with it. Okay. Oh, God. This game plays like ass, dude. I can already uh, tell. I, I think it plays just fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over again. I'm gonna. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the... you bastard! <laughs> That's so stupid looking. Oh! I thought you were great at fighting games, man. Yeah, fighting games that weren't from 20 years ago. <laughs> they don't even got the iconic uppercut in this. this bullshit. Oh, they do. Never mind. They just changed the. So you just wait and see and play 11. Oh. See? Talking all that good shit. Oh, I forgot you can block. Yeah, you hold R or some shit. So here's my thing with Mortal Kombat. 
I feel like 1 through 4, literally, there wasn't that many changes. I'm pretty sure there's plenty, but, like, it all blurs together. Uh, 1 through... I... 1 through 3 are side score. This is the first 3D one. Yeah, but you don't really move in 3D. Unless it's, like, an animation. Yeah. How do you grapple? I don't know. You don't want to help. I don't know. I just started playing this game yesterday. Oh, finish him. I don't know any freaking fatalities. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> They're freaking gone. There's uh, someone that paid $50 for this when it came out. Was that how much these games were back then? Oh, like 30 to 50. This is what? I'm guessing 99? Yeah. I always wanted a Dreamcast. That's part. Of, that's like one of my dreams for my collection. The Dreamcast. No pun intended, honestly. Yeah, the Dreamcast was a great console. I, I, Sega went out on a high note. I wish Sega would come back. All right, check this out. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Oh, I thought you were gonna kick my ass. I thought you were gonna kick my ass. I, as soon as I learned how to play. You know, they put Mortal Kombat characters in Injustice. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like a travesty not to. Yeah, they put Scorpion in the first one, and they put Sub-Zero and Raiden in the second one. Oh, dude. I'm losing a lot. It's okay. So, do you remember when this came out? I'd have to look it up. I think it was like 97, I think. 90, 97? I was six years old. Isn't that sweet? I was probably like four. I figured out your strategy. But button mashing? Oh shit, what the hell? You press back, it makes it faster? I guess so. Oh yeah, yeah, if you press back, it speeds everything up for some reason. Yeah, don't press back. I guess. That wasn't meant to happen. Yeah. Quan, oh, Quan Chi was in this. Oh my god. And who the hell is that, Kai? I don't know. There's so many characters that they just only were in one game and then they just never brought back. Like mocap. Yeah. Well, Armageddon at the time was the one that had every single character. You know that, right? Yeah. Still got that physical cut. <laughs> what? Which one did that come out on again? Huh? Which one did that come out on again? That was the original Xbox and PS2. Oh, I was so close! That was the last of those three, the Deadly Lines, the Deception one. Okay. The blood, it's so hilarious. So this one isn't even that violent. Well, we don't know any fatalities. I do. I just want to be able to do the Scorpion. Get over here! The problem with these games back then is you had to literally, like, know combos and write them down. Or they weren't fun. And that was, you really couldn't look that up on the internet yet. No. Weren't video game websites in the early days were so scummy? For cheat codes? Just any of that stuff. Game winners? Yeah. I remember that one. Cheatplanet.com? I'm gonna be a reptile. I'm going for Sonya. Is Kano not in this? I don't think so. Huh. That's strange. Is Kano Australian? I think so. I, I always, like... It was one of those things I didn't know until I, like, I really, like, heard him talk, and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> what is up with that reptile design? Jesus That's Christ. That's a terrible reptile design. Yeah. Let's... <laughs> Remember those college dorms packed full of students playing these games. That and uh, it was either this or GoldenEye. 97? Yeah. Yeah, the N64. This was only on Dreamcast, right? No, this uh, Gold was only on Dreamcast because it came out a little bit later, but this one was the regular version was on every. Four was on everything? Yeah. Dreamcast, man. Dope console. Another one I remember my cousin having that I used to watch him play was System Shock. I never played that. That was the predecessor to, uh... Or it was System Shock 2. Or the not predecessor, it was the precursor to, uh... Bioshock. Yeah. Like the, yeah. I'm gonna kick you in the reptile nuts. 
No. Just... You bastard! <laughs> Why do they give, like, Sonya the worst designs? Uh, I think a lot of these characters have horrible designs. Shut your poor mouth. Some of these are awesome. Who's that? I, I, okay, they don't give you a name, but that's Cyrax, that's Molina, Katana, Kung Lao, Baraka, Sub Zero, Johnny Cage, Liu Kang, Jax, Sonya. I don't know who that is. Who? T codes. Yeah. Red Tico. Red Co? Red Tico? Stop kicking me in my guts. I could see when, this, when I, if I was a kid at the time and I saw this, I'd be like, this is the most realistic game ever made. The most realistic looking game. Uh. Alright, we get it. You won a match. Won, yeah. Chill, bro. Casually break my neck and I just. Okay. Yep. 1997? I was playing on a PS1. I was above the Dreamcast and the other. No, I thought I wanted a PlayStation because I thought it was like the coolest thing ever at the time. And I realized realistically I wanted an N64. All the Edgelord games were on PS1. Okay, I, I'm going to say right now, I think the N64 is overrated. What? Yeah. I mean. Take nostalgia out. It's got some pretty amazing games. That's why I wanted an N64. I realized I didn't want a PS1 when I didn't really enjoy a whole lot of games outside of the yeah. ones I played. Oh. And again, what's the KO? N64. Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask. Super Mario 64. Mario Party 1 through 4. Mario Kart. Lover, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie. All those games are irrelevant to me. I don't even know half of them. You were like two when they came out. That's why. Yeah. Who, who is this character? Oh, God. Who is? Who? What's that? Tanya. Who is this character? And what kind of fighting game where they give you every character unlocked immediately? What do you want? Do you want them to include microtransactions instead? No, just unlock a character from the story mode or something, damn it. <laughs> There's something satisfying with that. You gotta have incentive to play the story. I guess. My button mashing isn't working. Because I'm putting strategy into this, alright? If I knew fatalities... You'd be fucking done for. Uh, how many more you want to do? We'll get like one more. In. One more? Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna play as great. Dude, just do up down as right. Or is it down up? Do it real quick. Do down up or up down. One of the two. Yep. Oh, there it is. That's the same move. He has an 11 still. Nice. Back forward A. Uh, back forward A. Try it faster. Oh. Back forward A. Back forward X. Can I see real quick? Never mind. He's got another move. But the down up is like classic riding. Does he still have this? Oh yeah. Oh, God damn it. Where does he just get this big ass hammer at? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at that. To show it's 3D. This is so... <laughs> I love it. I love it. Come here. Come on. Look at that. There we go. That's that classic Johnny Cage. I hate Johnny Cage. What is that? I just do. He's just... Dude, he's got the Adidas on. Look at that. Oh, he does! He's got the Sambas. I think that's what he's wearing. Yeah, I'm about to win with just this.
Boom. You want to move on to Mortal Kombat 11? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's move on to Mortal Kombat 11 then. So what do you think of this game? Um, I probably would have loved it back then, but I definitely don't like it now. Yeah. Um, oh, alright, I guess we're going to do this then. Oh, I don't want to play as Quan Chi again. Yeah, let me do this. <laughs> This fast motion is hilarious. Oh, there it is. I hate you. I have no idea what's going on right now. Oh. Huh. What? what? Oh, we fight to do the arcade mode? I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. All right. Let's Classic see that. Mortal Kombat, modern Mortal Kombat. So I don't know. What do you think about this? I, again, if I like, if I was younger, I'd love it. But right now, it's pretty hard to get through. It's fun. It's fun with friends. Yeah. I need more practice. You can't at take it, it serious. Uh, realistically. Let's get to it though. All right, Mortal Kombat 11. Have you played this much? Um. Once, and that was with you last time. Was Mortal Kombat Eleven? Wait, really? Yeah, because the last one I played Mortal Kombat Ten. Ten is cool. I only played it because it has a Predator in it, and but, Alien, and Alien, God, I had and Leatherface. God, I had a good run. Is, like, is that what they called them in it? Yeah. yeah they they're having them. so much fun with this franchise. So I here's my it. thing with this. I never thought in my life I would see a game where you would have... You're signed in already. Yeah. yeah. In my life, I never thought I'd see Arnold, Sylvester, and Robocop. I know. <laughs> that You could do a straight up 80s brawl with that. The thing that gets me is they have old Arnold and then young Sylvester. I wish that we could have had the alien in this game so we could do Alien versus Terminator. Yeah. And then you have the Joker. Why is he in here? Spawn. For Brandon. Or at Apollo City Comics. Yeah, basically. And they put Rain in here, which is crazy. Yeah. I didn't realize it was in the old game. Kotel Khan's such a cool design. Yeah. You know he's uh, voiced by Phil Lamar? Really? I think so, yeah. I could be wrong. Well, let's see. Like, yeah, these, these character designs have these gotten so much Dude, better. their graphics engine, I don't know what they did. It's insane. But this in Injustice 2 is literally some of the best looking games ever. Yeah. And I like, love the character models in Injustice 2 and the costumes. Yeah, but these character models actually and these designs are pretty awesome. Why does everybody yeah. get a tan when you hover over them? I. You see that? They do. Wow. Yeah, look at, look at Arnold. Oh, wait, sorry. Huh. Alright, who are you choosing? I will be... Well, what happened to Kung Lao? There's like this... I forget. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, I'm confused. Like, it's like... Oh, and we're streaming this footage on Twitch right now for while we're recording this. So where can we find you on Twitch? At Jiggity Jones. My handle for everywhere else. At Jiggity Jones. Great. Yeah. All right, so... Why does it do the... You see that, right? Yeah. Like, everybody, like... Uh, Look at that. Weird. It's like... Alright, you're gonna go with... Can you do costumes? Yeah, press, uh... How do you do it again? Let me see. Might be have to select the character. Oh, That's yeah. what it is, yeah, you select the character. I have to unlock more costumes. They don't have the original I'm Terminator? going spawn. That's weird they don't have the original Terminator. You probably have to unlock it, man. That's stupid. Alright, I'm going with Sub Zero. You know who voiced Spawn in this? Actually, Scorpion. Who? Keith David. Who's that? Actor. Keith David. That does name does sound familiar. He does. The, I think he did the Spawn animated series. Oh, okay. That was a good show. But he's a pretty famous actor. I love how they made Shang Tsung look just like the actor from the movie. Johnny Tsunami's grandpa. Yeah. Who else? You don't know Keith? Get Keith David. Oh, he's he was, really famous for he his was voice. He's from the Nice Guys. I love that movie. The his nice voice guys. made him famous. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm ready. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, he voices, uh... Yeah. There's a lot of famous voice actors in this game. For animation, though. Yeah. That's awesome. That is. Listen to this. He's got such a sexy voice. Keep David, man. Yeah. He did the Spawn animated series. The one that was definitely not for kids. Yeah. It was like super graphic. So the thing with these games is they're pretty fine-tuned in terms of like fighting mechanics. Yeah. Yeah, like, how I don't do I know. block? You hold RT. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what they did, but their graphics engine is next level, man. I know. And the engine holds up, too. So you know how Brandon was talking about reading every spawn issue every, like, one a day? Oh, yeah. I was thinking of trying out, like, Savage Dragon. Which uh, is, like, an image series still going on to this day. Yeah, I met the creator of it. Uh, Eric Larson? Yeah, I met him at uh, a Comic-Con here in the Bay Area. Yeah, he's, like, all over San Francisco. He's cool. Yeah, he's just a pretty laid-back guy. Yeah. I met Todd McFarlane. How was that? It was cool. I only got to talk to him for a couple seconds, but, you know, he shook my hand and said hello to me and, you know, all that stuff. Ironically, it was a DC signing. <laughs> you just can't get away from DC, can you? No, I can't. I mean, WB does own this game. Man, I suck at this game. Oh, yeah, you're terrible. Ooh! Oh, Whoa. shit! Where did that come from? I, uh, I don't know. I just did an uppercut. <laughs> okay. Great. Cool. Alright, I need more beer. Alright, going for my favorite. He's got a very Clint Eastwood look to him. Alright, where's Scorpion? Aaron Black is a great character. Yeah. He's also voiced by Troy Baker, who was the Joker in Arkham Origins and some Batman movies. I knew that. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 know, I knew that. He's all over the place. Yeah, he's, he's a good actor. It's also Joel from uh, Last of Us. Oh, that's right. So is, he, is Aaron Black like a bounty hunter? Kind of. He's like your traditional cowboy. He's so cool. Aaron Black? Yeah. He's a pretty crazy character, if you know how to use him. I've seen some combos that are pretty nasty. So do you think like you'll enjoy the movie? Um, I want it to be good, you know. Same I, here. It's just one of those things. It's just like you know, all the we've had so many shitty. We've had such a shitty year that I just want a good movie that's fun. And Kong vs Godzilla was a lot of fun, and I'm you know hoping that that uh, this movie is. See, I just hope it's what I want a Mortal Kombat movie to be. Yeah. Again, oh there it is. Brutality. Uh, I could do the fatal blow, but you I think you got me. Oh, I thought those were called... Oh, they're called fatal blows. I thought they were yeah. like brutalities. I was going to say, um, you know, like I said in the commentary, I think Mortal Kombat movies have the potential of being like fantasy martial arts films. Yeah. And they... Messed that up the first time around, or yeah. both movies. Ooh, there it is, that uppercut. Ooh, ooh. What? Yes! Right in the eyeballs. You think we're gonna see, actually see stuff like that in the movie, though? I saw a leak. You did? Yeah, I saw a leak of a fatality. Is it good? I don't want to spoil it. This, this let me know, is it to the caliber that we want it to be? It says, 
It's as violent as I think it, the movie's allowed to get. <laughs> so worse than this? Give or take. You know, okay. because they look more human in the movie. Yeah, so... Because so, they're trying to avoid the NC double... Or NC, NC double A. The N17, NC17 rating. What kind of fatality do you want? Oh, I don't know. I just... Do you want a stage fatality? Do you, you want a regular? Or do you where's want a friendship? The one, where's the one where the... Uh, you can get the... Uh, the arcade machine to drop on them if they even have that in this one i don't know i'll give you a friendship all right uh let's see back forward down forward a oh <laughs> well i screwed that up all right it's going on camera showing how terrible i am with this game yeah you're awful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. How many more matches you want to do? One or two more. All right. Let's get a let's get a classic going. Is Rambo a WB film? I thought it was MGM for some reason or Fox. Is RoboCop a WB film? I don't know. I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna I'm gonna search that up after. Uh, you know they actually got Sylvester Stallone to, vo uh, to voice his character that's awesome oh we skipped the intro that was my fault I want to rematch that I want I want I want to see the intro all right <laughs> Jesus Christ Robocop your move creep <laughs> in the middle of a mountain? I know. Notice how they fixed Stallone's mouth in the intro? Yeah, and you know that's actually Peter Welsh, or Weller, whatever his name is. Oh, that's cool. You didn't know that? He's got a cool voice. Yeah, he was Batman in the Dark Knight Returns movie. I know, he was per- I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that story, but I thought he was perfect. Oh, yeah, you, you don't think it's that good. I, I, it's not that I don't think it's great or good. I think it's very overrated. You gotta take it in context. Came out the same year as Watchmen. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought that there were way better Batman stories before that. Well, year one came after. Yeah. I am. Okay. Was RoboCop an R-rated film? Oh, very R-rated. I've never seen it. Yeah, that's the one of my... My dad likes that film. So does my mom. They love those like those '80s action movies. Don't they like shoot a guy in the crotch and zoom in on it? They like shoot the guy's arm off, and it is so violent. Oh, uh, okay. Those you can't get away with those kind of '80s movies, like the the stuff they did in '80s action movies today. I didn't want this. Well, that's that's all Rambo is, like all four movies. <laughs> Yeah. This is like trying to live his life and everyone... I know, they harass him so badly in the first one. It Guys, is... I still haven't seen the first one. I've seen the second one, but I haven't seen First Blood. Uh... First Blood is a really... It's a very slow burn. It's a sad movie, I, I've heard. Yeah. He's just trying to, like, live his life. Yeah, except oh my god. I've heard it really does play out a lot like the... Uh... God damn. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? Ooh. What the? But yeah, I don't think the movie is gonna go for super wacky violence. It's gonna be really grotesque and just like over the top in terms of like. I am. Um, they're gonna they're gonna sparingly show the violence. I'm very squeamish, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. As long as I can't anything Back that attacks the junk, I cannot. I can't take that. Wait, what was that move? Why can't I do this right now? Back forward, down X. There we go. Here we go. What do we got going here? Oh, there it is. Ooh. How much of his body is, like, still human, though? Uh, I don't know. That's from the fourth Rambo movie. Or... Oh, yeah, where he rips his throat out. Yeah, the fourth Rambo throat. movie is brutal. The movie's just violence the film. Yeah. Alright. 
You want Joker or Arnold? Or Rain? Uh, or should I just go random? Who's this? Who's Rain? He was in the second movie. He died, like, in two scenes. Oh. Shows how much I remember that movie. <laughs> Even though we just watched it, like, yesterday. I'll be Kano. He's got that one movie he turns into a ball. Yeah. They're literally like the biggest rival, one of the biggest rivalries too. Yeah. He looks cool in the new movie. Why? That's a good design for Sonya. Finally. Let's see. Ooh. How do you pick up stuff in the in the foreground? R B. Plus depending on the character, you either pick it up or you um you like use it for something else. Uh, I think if you do back he has this move where he turns into a ball, but it's like all analog stick. Yeah. What the Okay. Okay. What? I wouldn't actually mind if they did something like after, after a match, you could still come back to life, in the movie. So that way, like you could see the fatalities, but like they could still come back and fight another fight. If that makes any sense. Yeah. The every fight is supposed to seem like the last fight, I guess. Uh. Yeah, like I said, there's a deep fighting game in this. Like, the mechanics are no joke, but I haven't put in the work. Yeah. It takes time, man. To get good at fighting games. Yeah. To the choppa. Down, forward, back, Y. <laughs> oh, okay. This <laughs> doesn't make any sense. There has to be like a meeting going on. Like, alright, guys, how do we make murders gruesome? I know. And brutal as how possible? do we make it like even worse? One more? One more. One more. With the top hat? Oh yeah, the zoot suit. Would that be called a top hat? No. What is it? That's Door? like a that's like a zoot suit hat. Well, that's what he used to wear a zoot suit in the comics, but that's a little bit more. Of a, or would that be? That's a, a fedora. That's a fedora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The zoot suit hat is a little bit more wide brim, like the one he wore in Jack Nicholson. Mm hmm. I'll be Arnold. <laughs> Arnold and the Joker. I never thought. Here we go. Choose. You know, with a cane, that's a very Joker character. Uh, I don't know, something with canes and Jokers just work. Yeah. You know that's a voice actor Arnold chose. Yeah, he just <laughs> he sounds terrible. Ooh, 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 Joker. I thought he was a good choice for a DLC character. Yeah, I'm just tired of seeing him. Yeah, he's too popular. Oh, okay. He does it. <laughs> Get over here. Yeah, get over here. I love. I can listen to interviews of Arnold just talk about anything all day. It's I know, hilarious. Right? You know when he makes protein shakes, puts the whole egg in there. Yeah. You ever seen like he's such an animal lover? He has like a miniature pony and like a donkey that lives yep. in his. It lives in his house. They're they're famous too. Yeah. Uh, 
And then, like, he spends his days... He paints now. He paints, like, plates. Hey, man, he's just trying to live a simple life. Hey, what else are you gonna do? There's that Bill Burr joke, how Arnold has lived the greatest life ever. Oh, yeah, he was just like... He goes, everybody, like, trashed him for when he, uh... Cheated on Maria, but he's just like... I'd like to see you do half the stuff he did. Come from another country, become yeah. governor, famous movie actor. Yeah, marry their royalty, learn their language and everything. <laughs> Mr. Universe. Yeah. <laughs> Got yeah, quite the accomplished he, life. He did everything. Party pooper down. Let's see. Down, 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 down. A. So four. You always gotta get that Batman cameo, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, that was Mortal Kombat 11. I didn't win a single match. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, guys, for our Mortal Kombat... Uh, Conversation? One. Yes. Playthrough. Uh, let me let us know in the comments below if you want to see us do more videos like this with you know video games, movies, whatever. Just hang out and talk about them. Yeah. Um, you know. I hope the movie's good. Yeah, you know, going through it, like I never realized like how bad Mortal Kombat's had it for when it comes to movies and stories Anything. in general. Anything. Yeah. I mean, these games are good. Eleven's mm -hmm. good. Ten's good. Yeah. Nine is. These are Nine fun through games. eleven are great games. Yeah, they're really fun games. Oh. Uh, before that, I can't speak for much. But <laughs> yeah, they've definitely had their their ups and downs. But you know, I I hope the movie's good. I'm not too much. I'm I'm pretty squeamish personally. Um, so you know, I'll I'll make it. Um, but anyways, I, I really do hope it's good. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. And uh, where can, where can we find you on Twitch? Since uh, you Twitch to Twitch. Instagram, Twitter, all those. At Jiggity Jones. At Jiggity Jones. Uh, make sure to uh, check out my comic reviews on Third Planet from the Black Hole or Third Planet Out News. Yes, you can find the link in the description um, below. Check out Sutra Side Talk. Check out Paul City Comics, where I co host. And uh, that's hit, all I got. Hit like and subscribe. Help us get to 100 subscribers. And. Uh, We'll see you at the Mortal Kombat review, which will be coming out in the next couple days after this is posted. So, anyways, guys, take care and see you later. And, uh, let me think of a good line for more. Uh, get over here. Get, see you I, later, see, get over here. Well, see, I mean, the thing is, <laughs> see, the problem is, is just like, you live in an apartment, so I can't, like, yell. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like, get over here! <laughs> there it is. Alright, thank you, everyone. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Reporting live from the third planet from the black hole It's the astro floating through the astral Plane I maintain this wisdom, I'm the vassal yeah. Baby, I'm just burying these rappers like a time capsule Let my mind travel through dimensions Check this pimping, I'm just trying to find a piece like Olimar